Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A trial balance lists accounts and the balances associated with those accounts at a given time. A company usually will prepare a trial balance at the end of a specific accounting period. Similar to a journal entry, debits are listed on the left side and credits on the right. The trial balance proves the mathematical equality of these debits and credits. A trial balance may uncover errors in journalizing and posting. Also, a trial balance is useful in the preparation of financial statements. The steps for preparing a trial balance are List the account titles and their associated balances Total the debit column and the credit column and then verify that both columns are equal. Let's look at an example of a trial balance. Here is XYZ Inc.'s trial balance. Notice that the accounts, whether they are asset accounts or liability accounts, are listed on the left side. Then their amounts are listed in either the debit or the credit column, depending on the transaction. Also notice that at the bottom, the total amount for debits, $27,200, equals the amount of credits, $27,200. If these two amounts did not balance, this would mean that there was an error in a journal entry. The trial balance does have limitations, however. The balance does not always prove that all transactions have been recorded or that the ledger is correct. For example, the trial balance may balance even if any one of the following errors occur. A transaction or event is not journalized, a journal entry is not posted, a journal entry is posted twice, there are incorrect amounts used in journalizing or posting, or offsetting errors are made in recording the amount of the transaction. Overall, a trial balance is useful in finding large errors, however, other errors can still occur. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.